Greetings, YouTubians, and welcome back to Wayne Sharp World, where today I've got a special one for any guy or gal that has to go into an office, put on a suit or a jacket or dress pants, and go to work. Today we're talking the best office slash gentleman slash lady carry knives for the professionals out there, the ones that like to make it a little, keep it a little classier, make it a little dressier. This is for you guys and gals. Let me know what you think at the end of this video. This is a very um, uh, opinionated video because it comes down to personal preference, personal style of what really makes a knife like this. But here's a few things that I, I, I think can fall into the category for any knife that someone would choose for this. It, it's usually a, uh, a, a sleeker knife. It is more slender. It carries well in the pocket. It's a discreet carry, and it's a little less intimidating of a blade. Um, I, you know, I think everyone outside of the knife world um, looks at knives, and sometimes they look a little, you know, stabby or you know, something that uh, you know a bad guy would carry. Uh, the the way they're kind of depicted in movies and whatnot. So these knives kind of take a few steps back from that idea and are just more of a. Uh, a, f a friendlier looking tool, I guess. Who, there's a million different ways to, to, to describe a, a gentleman or office carry knife. Um, but that's just a few of them. Those are going to factor into this. And I'm just going to get right into it. I'm going to list these off. These are in no particular order. These are just all the, the best examples I have of them. And I think there's some really, really good ones. So again, like I said, let me know what you think at the end of this video. I'm going to get these out of the way. My stickers and magnets that are available on my Etsy shop. I will link that in the video, of the, the description of the video below. And let's go. I'm going to start off with the knife that uh, I gave the best office slash gentleman's carry award for 2022, and that is none other than the Finch Model 1929. Now, there's a lot of things that kind of go into this knife that make it, in my opinion, a true, one of the best examples of a gentleman's knife you can get today. Um, this is a smaller knife with about a, I want to say a two and a half, maybe 2.6 inch blade. It has a very modern, non-aggressive look. It also has some nice carbon fiber, and the overall design of it, it almost looks like a, a traditional, but it's not. It obviously has its flipper tab, and uh, it has very good action at that. Flies right out. Just a very uh, kind of a throwback design, I guess. Has some nice 154cm steel that'll be easy to resharpen, and a nice clip that is not shiny. This is a uh, kind of a blasted clip. So it, it, it won't pop too much in your pocket. It also carries relatively low. I carry this knife a lot because it really does, it only sits about that high in your pocket and it's kind of the black helps it blend in with blue jeans or, or black pants. It's a very nice option that is kind of everything I listed. It's a smaller, less aggressive looking knife um, with still a very, very useful, very nice clip point blade and uh, quality materials to go along with it. That is the Finch Model 1929. Next up on the list, we got another uh, short, kind of kind of chubby one. And like I was saying, not all gentlemen's knives have to be um, have to be long and slender. A lot of them are, but this one, the Wee Banter, is actually kind of a short little chubber. You have a blade coming in right under three inches. And as we see, it's a very non-aggressive drop point blade, very useful and functional with S35 VN steel and a nice, uh, almost full flat grind. You see the grind stops probably about uh, four fifths or three quarters of the way up the blade. Makes it a nice little uh, daily EDC knife. And the ergos are surprisingly good on this. It's a full four finger grip and it has some nice jimping up here just above, just above the thumb studs. And it just, it feels surprisingly good in hand. Another thing this knife has that I really love that makes it a great uh, discreet carry is it has what I call a perfect pocket clip. It is a deep carry clip with a recessed clip and recessed screws, fully flush with the scale of the knife and it carries completely in the pocket. This knife pretty much disappears in the pocket. All you're gonna see is the clip and the banter here being the name of it from Ben Peterson, formerly of Blade HQ. Um, after he left Blade HQ, he set out and designed this knife with Wii. And for all of you that don't know, Wii is um, one of the, the best manufacturers in China of pocket knives. And this one is extremely high quality. But at the same time, they use some, uh, some less expensive materials like the G10, 
which uh, kind of knocked the price on this knife down. This is only 108 bucks, so it's 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 not a bad carry, not a bad price uh, for what you're getting here. But overall, it's it's definitely more of I think an office carry than a gentleman's carry. It could be both, but definitely falls more on the office side in my opinion because it's just a great one you can carry anywhere without uh, ruffling any feathers or getting anyone. Uh, scared i don't know you know when you talk when you, you guys when you talk knives and in other people's you know safe zones and feelings you know everyone has their different opinions on that but especially when you're going into a, a you know your a place of work or you know a certain place where you know you'd rather just avoid any unnecessary issues it's nice to carry a knife like this because again it, it's, it has great action too but more than anything it is just a very very average typical looking knife but also looks really good it win just a uh, extremely good quality. So it is something people keep in mind, and it's one of the reasons the the, the office carry kind of developed. And next up, we're gonna we got a couple here that are that are long and slender. First one here is the Benchmade 940 Osborne. Pretty much everyone knows about this knife. Um, it is just, in my opinion, it is one of the best knives, easily one of the best knives Benchmade has ever made. And it's definitely up there. I, you know, I, I don't have this one in my top 15 EDCs of all time, but this is easily probably in the top 20, 25. And at the same time, depending on, uh, you know, my my mood or whatever I'm feeling like carrying, there's this finds itself finds its way in my pocket um, a lot more than I think I even know. But for good reason. It's overall just a fantastic build. It's a unique design. It's very, very nice. It's attractive. It has a very nice, long, I think, 3.4-inch blade with a nice, slicey edge. Um, kind of a... It, not a very wide blade. So, it, you know, you lose a little bit of sliciness with... Um, the thin edge increasing a, a little more as you go up the stock. You don't have a full flat grind. So there's other things that factor into that. When this knife came out uh, years and years ago, this was easily, easily one of the, you know, three, five best knives out there. And it's still a fantastic knife. But as, as, the, as everything evolves in the knife community, this, you know, it, it, it has more and more competition. So it may be fall a little down the list for uh, to some people, but it's still a great option for me. And it is still an excellent gentleman's carry option because it's just, um, it, it, it's, it's unique. And it to me, it does have a nice kind of a classy look. And it also has a very uh, deep carry clip that everyone know comes with Benchmade. This is the... Uh, the bigger deep carry clip, not the one featured on the bug out, but uh, it, it holds very nicely in the pocket. And again, you have a very uh, slender knife. So when you're carrying this in the pocket, it's really easy to reach in your pocket to pull out anything else that you may have in there. And it just carries very well. You can easily forget it's there. It's also a very light knife. So it makes this a very nice uh, knife to carry in you know, lighter pants, whether it be slacks or whatnot. And at the same time, this black clip will also blend into any black slacks very well. It, it, it'll pretty much disappear. You won't even see the outline of the clip on the, on the pants, which is also very nice. So there's that one. That's the Benchmade 940 Osborne. Next up, we got another one. And I think this one here is one of the more underrated knives out there in all of the, the knife world right now. That is the Spyderco Ikuchi. And I think it is an excellent gentleman's carry it may have a you know a, a pointier you know kind of a swooshy some would call stabby looking blade but it's it's a very stylish knife it's very unique whenever i carry this knife i usually get a compliment uh, or some remark saying oh wow i've never seen a knife like that i said yeah most people haven't neither have i until you get this one because there really isn't anything like it um it's very unique in a lot of ways it has a very nice uh, carbon fiber laminated G10 scale with really nice texturing. It has the compression lock from Spyderco that I think most people know about and really, really like. And it also has a nice thin slicey blade with S30V steel, which is going to give you really good edge retention. Um, I think strong enough... Uh, strength to hold up to pretty much any EDC use as well as very good corrosion resistance. Um, not necessarily built with a tip like this for a lot of hard work, again, making it a very nice uh, gentleman's office carry. Tackle any slicing tasks very well, and it's also just a nice stylish knife to carry on you when you don't want to carry a big chunky bruiser or or more of a, a working class knife, a, a heavy duty, heavy, yeah, heavy duty use knife. 
So the Akuchi is a great option for that. And it also has this wheel that I really hated it at first because it kind of was starting to eat up the tip of my finger. But I'm going to give everybody a tip here because uh, one of my buddies told me this and it works great. You know, when you go to flip a knife, a lot of people go to use the tip of their finger. You don't want to do that with this knife. Instead of using the tip, you want to use kind of the middle fat of your finger here and just push down and it flies right out. It doesn't eat up your finger and it just works great. God, as I'm doing this, I really, I can't wait until this stupid little raised blood goes away in my finger. People think it's a, it's a wart or something. It's not a wart. It's just this random little blood blister I got helping the guys install the security system at my house. And I just, I, I hit it on like this piece of plastic and it just, it hurt like crazy little blood raised. I thought I'd cut myself and it just stayed like that. So not a war, just, yeah, it's pretty unpleasant, but whatever. Hopefully it'll be gone here pretty soon. And, um, I'll have a little more normal looking fingers for you guys to look at while I'm deploying blades. But that aside, the Spider Kokuchi is a fantastic gentleman's carry or office carry option. Um, the one thing I would like on this knife to change a little, or, you know, you could probably get something, this clip, I like the clip in general, but it would be a little better, I think, if this clip was black because then it wouldn't uh, – because it's a satin wire clip. And I love the wire clips, but the satin part, it, it really sticks out on pants. This would be a much better knife to carry in slacks if it had a black wire clip. That would be really nice. I, I'm sure you can probably get something. Um, there's a lot more aftermarket clips for the wire – the wire style attachment that you can get now might be worth looking into, but a black clip on this would, excuse me, would really make it a kind of a perfect option for a gentleman's carry. In my opinion, that's the spider coat. Ikuchi. Next up, we have a, a very classic knife. This definitely falls in the office style care category. And that is the Civivi Elementum. So there's just nothing about the Elementum that comes off as intimidating or stabby or aggressive or anything. It's a nice, simple drop point blade with still still very slicey with that very, very nice Civivi hollow grind that they do on a lot of their blades. Um, and it's again, it's, it's sub three inches. It fits very well in the hand, provides a great grip, whether you want to choke up and get right under the blade or if you want to fall back a little and just do a regular kind of grip. Here, you still have nice jimping on the spine of the blade, and it just feels really great in the hand. And it also carries nice because it's so rounded everywhere. There's, there's no sharp points on this knife when you're carrying it in your pocket. There's, there's nothing that's going to dig into your hip or make it uncomfortable. And even the flipper tab is very minimal, so it's not going to hit your hand reaching into your pocket or anything. It, it's just a very, very simple but also very well thought out piece from Civivi. And coming in and right around $50 for the base price, you, it, it's really hard to beat. It really is hard to beat. And it's a, one of those great knives to get people into knives with the action and everything else that it offers. It's a fantastic option, but... Like today's theme of the video, it is also a great office carry. Right up there with the Wii Banner for a couple of the best options for an office carry. And if you get one with, you know, carbon fiber or something a little, you know, classier, um, it would also make a pretty good gentleman's carry in my opinion. You know, it's not, uh, not, not the flashiest knife, but you throw some marble carbon fiber, which just is available in marble carbon fiber when it's in stock. It's a really good gentleman's carry option as well. That's the Civivi Elementum. Next up... We have one of my personal favorites. This is the CJRB Rhea. This is a new model from Knife Center. This is a Knife Center exclusive with Paco Wood Scales. And this one actually had this little highlight back here, which I didn't really like at first, but I kind of like it now. I don't, I don't know how that happened, but uh, yeah, it's got a little, uh, little highlight there in the middle of the grain, which is kind of cool. But what's really cool about this knife is just the overall design. The wood gives more of a kind of a, you know, it, it, it dials down the intensity of the knife, makes it look more like it, you know, belongs with a pen or just, you know, somewhere sitting on your office. And at the same time, this pocket clip here, tell you what, you put this in the pocket of your jeans or dress pants or wherever you're carrying this in, and it looks like a pen because it only sticks up about this much. And for all anyone else knows, this is a pen in your pocket 
because this is, yeah, it basically just looks like a pen clip. Um, and it's still a very nice pocket clip. I believe this is titanium, if I remember right. Um, very nice addition to the deep carry satin shiny pocket clip that used to be on the standard ones. Still is on the standard ones, but you can, not available. You can't get it on this one, which uh, is a good thing in my opinion. But you also have a very nice blade that has a good tip on it. It's nice and pointy, but not too intimidating. It's under three inches. I believe it, I believe it comes in at 2.8 or 2.9 inches. So just a very nice length of a blade and also a very nice blade design. You have a real functional tip that it's great for draw cuts, but at the same time, you have a lot of belly to work with that will come in handy for all sorts of other, you know, light EDC tasks. It really is a great option. Not something you would want to use real heavy, but again, I, I carry the Rhea a lot, especially when I'm, you know, either just walking around the house, or if I'm working from home, or if I'm going to visit a customer somewhere, it's a nice little one to have in the pocket because it doesn't take up too much space. And again, it's not, uh, it doesn't really identify as a knife in your pocket, which I think is very important for any type of office carry or gentleman's carry. It's, it, at least it is to me. So that's the CJRB Rhea, and that is a really good option in my opinion. Next up, we do have one a little more on the aggressive side, but my reasoning, I think everyone will know, this is the Ferrum Forge Stinger, and if you saw my full review on this knife, I referred to it as the Tactical Gentleman's Carry, and this is my thing. So, you know, there's some guys that just, you know, they just don't care. They want, they, they, they want to, they want, they want to keep their own style, keep their own, uh, you know, their own little niche to them, and they don't want to, you know, change to, uh, to con conform to anyone else's, you know, ideals or rules. And I got no problem with that. And I think this knife is a great option for that because you still have that aggressive look. You have great quality. You have amazing action. And I think just a design that is just, I mean, it's a, it's a stunner in my opinion. It's a fantastic design from Ferrum Forge. Also has those awesome Ferrum Forge ergos to where it basically, it just becomes part of your hand. Big, big fan of that. And you also have an extremely nice, another perfect deep carry pocket clip, recessed screw, recessed clip. Um, another one that pretty much for all intensive purposes disappears in your pocket but there you're going to see just a little left. But again, it keeps, uh, it, it, it still has that tactical look to it. But at the same time, I think it does have a little bit of a sassy class with it. It's, it's, it's a really good option for someone that wants to, to keep the tactical vibe going, but at the same time, kind of kick the classy notch up a little. And I really like that in the Ferrum Forge Stinger. I think it's a great option. It's an extremely popular knife. One of the few knives on this list that may be hard to find at the moment. Um, I, I don't even know if you can find it. You'd have to probably look on Reddit or somewhere on the secondary market to get it. But it's definitely worth chasing after, in my opinion, because the action, quality, and overall appearance of the knife is, uh, is really, really good. That's the Ferrum Forge Stinger. Next up, we got four more for you. And this is another one of my favorites. This is the Civivi Elementum. This is a very nice, light front flipper. Um, for all that, for any new followers I have, any new subscribers, I kind of have a thing for front flippers. I think they're just awesome. It's one of my, probably my favorite way to deploy a knife right ahead of a Spidey flick. And it's, it's just, they're fun. They're fun. And there's something about front flipping or kind of this thing here. It's in the knife community. It's called the reach around. Keep your minds out of the gutters, people. But it's just kind of fun. It's it's. I think it's a classier way to open up a knife. I I might be crazy, but there's just something about just a front flipper. The the blade flips out a little faster. Kind of looks like the blade just appears there. I think it's cool, and I think this knife is made even a little cooler with the Damascus. And I may have called this the Civivi Elementum. This is the Civivi McKenna. I have a really bad habit of calling the Civivi McKenna, which is what this is, the Civivi Elementum, which you saw earlier in the video. I don't know how that started, but I just started doing it one day. And sometimes I catch myself midway and sometimes I don't. It's, it, it's starting to become annoying because it's one of my favorite knives. And I tell people it's one of my favorite knives and then I can't even remember the name of it. And it kind of makes me look like an idiot. But this is the Civivi McKenna, and again, it's it's just a great piece. It's designed by Elijah Isham, one of my more favorite knife designers. Um, it has surprisingly good or great ergos. Eh, good, great, somewhere in between good and great. 
um, but they don't bother me one bit. Um, a nice deep carry clip. Um, it still leaves a little bit of the knife up, so it's not true, true deep carry, but it does carry very well in the pocket because it is slim. It's also rather small with the blade length coming in, I believe, uh, 2.875 inches. And again, you put this in your pocket, you have nothing that's going to hit your hand as you're reaching in. Very well thought out design from Elijah. Most of his designs are. They're usually very unique looking and attractive, and this is no exception. And again, it doesn't have a super intimidating blade, but also a very unique looking blade. And the Damascus just kind of makes it pop a little more, I think, making it a very excellent gentleman's carry option. That's the Civivi McKenna. Next up, another one of my favorites. And this one is a little bigger. It's still a front flipper. It's the Kaiser Genie. And I've raved about this knife for quite a while. I still think it's one of the more underrated knives out there. It's getting a little harder to find with the carbon fiber scales, which I do think make it a little better than the titanium. Just uh, mainly for weight and overall uh, kind of weight dispersion when you're holding it in hand, it does feel a lot nicer with a considerably lighter scale. But the blade flies out, has a very nice, unique Tonto-style blade. Um, a nice thumb hole, which gives you the option to spidey flick it open. And it's just, again, it carries very well in the pocket. I can't say I love this pocket clip, but the one thing I do like about the pocket clip is that it is blasted. It's not a satin finish, so it doesn't pop. It doesn't show quite as much in your pocket. And again, it just carries well. It carries deep enough to where you don't see, you don't see a whole lot of the knife sticking out there. Again, that's something some people don't worry about, but it is something that some people do keep in mind when they're uh, when they're carrying a knife around certain people or groups or places. So it is worth mentioning in this video. But this is the Kaiser Genie, and it is if, if you can find it in the carbon fiber, I I would highly recommend it all day, especially if you like front flippers. And it just has a really cool, sleek look to it. I mean, look at it. It's just. It's an eye pleaser in my opinion, and so was the action and fidget factor and everything. Really hard to beat the Kaiser Genie. Next up, we have, this is a newer one. This is a newer one, and I was really torn. I almost put this in my 2020 Knife of the Year awards. It just wasn't out long enough. I didn't get enough time with it, but this is the Wee Knives Black Void Opus divine, designed by Justin Lundquist. And this is such a unique knife from the overall shape and design. Um, again, it's very, uh, it's, it's rounded, but it has a nice point at the tip. Um, nice lines that flow from tip to bottom. And you have a really unique grind on this. You have a chisel grind. So on this side here, you have a kind of just a regular flat grind on this side. And you see where the grind ends right here with this grind line. But then you go to the other side. And the swedge is a little deceiving because this is a swedge going into the top of the spine. But what you have right here, it's fully flat. It's a flat grind. So you combine this flat side with this uh, flat grind and you come up with a chisel grind. And that's better to see when you're looking at it in, from this point of view. So as you can see, this side of the blade here is completely flat as to where this side has a grind going into the blade diagonally there, obviously giving it the sharp edge. There's some advantages to a chisel grind. I don't want to get into to too much of it because that would take a long, we're already at 23 minutes, but a chisel grind is just a very unique grind for a knife, and the knife is just as functional as any other knife. Some people prefer a chisel grind. They think they cut better. Um, the jury is still out on that for me, but it doesn't take away from the fact that I really, really, really li love the design of this knife. I love the fact that the flat ground side or the, 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 the chisel side of the knife is on the show side. I think that makes it look a lot better. I think this, I, I think if this grind was on the show side of the knife, it would look a little, eh, just a, wouldn't quite have the same appearance. It'd look a little off to me, but at the same time, that's the whole purpose of the, the chisel side is always the side, um, like if you have to imagine yourself cutting something, you want the flat side closest to you and the ground part away for how it cuts in. That's also why it's on the same side as the clip. But again, I'm kind of getting off point here with this video. It's just a very sleek knife. It's all black. It would carry very discreetly in any pants, especially if they're black. It's a 
somewhat light, not light knife. You would probably feel it in slacks, but again, it's not too bad. And when you're carrying it, a lot of it goes away in the pocket to where that's basically all that's sticking up and you have a black clip that's going to blend in a lot better than a satin finished wire clip or other clips like you've seen. The action is just really good. And again, I don't think there's anything real intimidating about it. It's a smaller blade. Overall, a very, very well thought out design from Justin, a very unique design, and I think very suitable to be on this list of best office slash gentleman carries. Last, but certainly not least, I think I saved the flashiest one for last, and that is none other than the ProTech Newport with a specific finish. This is a gold rose coated finish on an S35 VN blade. Now, gold rose, it, it doesn't make this knife super expensive. This, this knife was like, I, I think, 220 bucks. Um, it's a little hard to find because, you know, you guys know ProTech does stuff, and sometimes little smaller batches, especially with their coated blades and whatnot. But I mean, come on, this is this is kind of like my wedding carry. When I go to a wedding, I almost always have this knife in my pocket because it's just super sleek. It's very, very fancy with the carbon fiber inlay and rose gold blade and button. And it's just it, it's just a, it, it's kind of a stunner. It's when you, you know, pull out and cut something. And everyone's like, "Ooh, what is that? It's like, oh, this is a ProTech Newport. But no, it's just really nice. Um, the only knock I have on it, but I just realized recently why this isn't that bad. So the clip, the pocket clip on this is stupid long, just really long. And it used to really annoy me. But then I really thought I was holding it in my hand one day and I thought, you know what? I think I know why they did this. Um, look at that clip. Look at how it sits in my hand. It 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 really kind of it sits in, it sits towards the the top of my palm just right to where there's no hot spot. It's a very very comfortable clip, and when I'm holding it in my hand, when I go to deploy the blade, if that blade was or if the clip was smaller, it you know it it gives my hands. I hold it like this, and I think they designed it like that. This little dip in the clip here gives me a perfect place to put my middle finger and rest my other fingers on here, so I have a really good grip on the knife when I go to deploy the blade. And if anyone has handled a Protec, they're very snappy. The springs they put in these knives to deploy the blade are very, very high quality. They last for, I don't want to say ever, but they last for a very, very long time. And of course, ProTech has a fantastic warranty. So if you're if something ever did happen to your spring, they'd have you covered. But it is just, it, it, it the clip is a lot more functional and it works a lot better with the knife than I ever thought until I noticed that. So that was worth pointing out because I've complained about that in the past, but I, I, and to be honest, I'm, I still think I'd rather change it, but but it's still, it, it, it serves much more of a purpose now, and I don't have nearly as big of a problem with it. So I, it makes me like the knife even more, and again, this, to me, this defines a gentleman carry, even with the, the pointier edge. It's a very nice, slicey knife. It's a, it, it's a very fancy, stands out from the crowd. It, it's a very good gentleman's carry for a special occasion, and it goes great in any pair of slacks, because this is a super, super light knife, and a slim knife so that's it that's what i got for you guys i hope you enjoyed this one this one has been pretty fun it, it took a little more a uh, little more time to come up with knives that uh that i thought really fit in this category i hope i nailed it for you let me know what you think what did i leave off the list what belongs on this list that's not on it right now let me know i'd be interested to hear that from you guys i hope you have a great rest of your day and until the next one i'm out